Okay, this is my new drum slinger pad. 13 inch black base, chrome die cast rims, uh, stainless steel tension lugs, and a white Remo Weather King Tendura. And these are actually not made anymore, but the owner stockpiles some just for this occasion. All right, and others. So let me uh, give you my first impressions. I didn't want to do a very long one and show a box and let's take it out of the box. Ooh, look at this. Nobody cares about that. You care about the pad. The pad is very, very, very responsive. Okay, and the instruction manual says not to tension the head when you first get it because it comes straight from the factory ready to play, obviously. So, I'm going to wait about two weeks. That's what they recommend before tightening the head a little bit. And let's see. Well, let's just let's go over a couple of things here that's actually on the Drum Slinger website. And if you're interested in one of these pads, I would uh, take you to that uh, site, Drum Slinger. Uh, percussion.com and also the drum slinger Instagram page where there are many 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 uh, physical visual uh, examples of the pad and lots of very very good players playing licks on their drum slinger all right so this one took about three weeks to get which is nothing I opted for the 13 inch black base Chrome die cast rim, white Tendura, all right? The standard model. Uh, there are some other options. Let me, uh, let's go to the options page. Um, the standard configuration, which this is one of those, 13 inch playing surface of your choice of Evans hybrid gray, hybrid white, or system blue head. Chrome die cast rim, hammered black, paint finish which is what I have and stainless steel tension rods okay uh, cost for that is 159 delivery from 55 miles southwest of Houston to my location was 183 out the door all right so everything was 183 and upgrade options include a black max Remo white max suede max or cyber max heads black chrome or gold chrome die cast rims and upgraded paint finishes you have to see their uh, website for that I'm more of a black and chrome guy anyway so I'm not really into the neon stuff so but you can get uh, many many different colors and let's see other than that let's see I love the 13 inch because it fits directly onto, I don't know if you can see this or not, onto my piece of wood that I bought at Lowe's. Okay? Alright, so I have this mounted on my snare drum stand and underneath, or right above that, I put my old slim pad that's probably about 15 years old. I put the slim pad down and then I put this down. Now on the bottom of the pad here, you've got these felt discs, and that will keep it from sliding around and give it a little bit more stability when it's on a table, which you can do that. But in this instance, it fits perfectly onto the slim pad, which also fits perfectly onto the piece of wood that I bought at Lowe's for about eight bucks, I think. So. But if you want to put it on a drum stand, there are three holes drilled, and you can position it onto the three prongs of the stand. Three prongs, okay? Uh, I'm choosing not to do that because this pad will not go out of this house. It will not go to the schools uh, where I teach. No one will touch this pad, okay? Hear that, students? You can look at it, but don't touch. Don't touch it. Anyway, just sort of joking there. All right, so that's the bottom. Very, very heavy. This thing is built like a tank. I think it's maybe 10 pounds. I think that's what the box said over the shipping information from FedEx. Very, very solid. Uh, 
you would not want to just sort of take this like it is. You'd want to put, I actually am a little bit on the OCD side, so I put a t-shirt over mine when I put it to sleep at night. So I actually put it inside a t-shirt so that it doesn't get um, scratched or dusty or anything like that. So stainless steel, the uh, tension rods, I don't know if you can see that or not. We're going to use, you'll use a hex wrench, okay, which is provided by Drum Slinger, but you can also use your own that you get at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Uh, so you can always use those. And other than that, it's very, very articulate. I don't know if you can hear that on the video. I use a Sony Handycam. I'm not using a elaborate mic system. Uh, has a little bit of resonance to it probably because I have it up on top of the slim pad. But just really, really, uh, I don't see how anyone would get pad hands from playing on this because if you play on a rubber pad for a length of time and you go to a regular performance instrument, which would be your snare drum free floater with a Kevlar head on it, you're going to have pad hands. You're not going to play as well. This has the feel of a free floating snare drum with a Kevlar head without that annoying sound. Okay? I might add also that the the rim shots, I really like the rim shot sound of this 13. I haven't heard the 14 uh, in person, but it's got a sweet, it's like a just really uh, high-pitched sweet sound. And of course on this you can also, you know, whatever you need to do on your snare drum practice, there you have it, okay? I highly recommend this to high schools, maybe even middle school, but primarily high school, college, drum corps, uh, old guys like me that used to march drum corps that still play every day. Um, the response of this pad, I can't really think of many, maybe, there may be two or three in the same league as far as the response, the bounce, but just the workmanship and the realistic feel of this drum pad, I haven't come across anything that matches it at this point. Um, primarily because it uses the same head that your free-floating marching snare drum uses. And the cool thing about this is that when you get tired of this head, or you wear it out, I can't see that I'm going to ever wear it out, uh, unless I use these Slingerland Dency Woods from the 80s, which I'm not going to do, because it messes up your arms and anything that that stick touches. Um, I don't really think I'm going to wear the head out, but if I do, if I want a change of sound, change of look, I can go with the Evans Hybrid Gray, uh, Black Max, White Max, or whatever to change the sound somewhat. Okay? So, let's see if there's anything else. Bill Olson is the owner. Uh, and on his website it says Bill Owner, Bill Olson, owner, designer, and head shop boy. So I think he does it himself. I think maybe his son may help him, but I'm not sure about that. They are in West Columbia, Texas, 55 miles southwest of downtown Houston, near Sugarland, Texas, if you know where that is. And I would suggest you check them out. Uh, it's a little more expensive than some of the pads that you may have bought. This is the most expensive pad I've bought, but after I saw this and played on it for, I've had this one day, I played it yesterday, I did my 45 minute routine, and <clears throat> wow, I mean, I don't know what to say. It feels just like a regular drum, and that is our, our goal when we practice to be able to realistically duplicate the performance instrument, <clears throat> which will ultimately be a snare drum with a Kevlar. Now he does make other <clears throat> models of this, um, like a concert model that does not have the uh, the Kevlar head, so you can make you can get a smaller one. Uh, I believe those are ready to go, but all of the all of the pads in the core marcher series are made to order. So when you order it, I mean I got mine in three weeks. So uh, there you go. So stay tuned for many more videos because I post a whole lot of stuff for my students and other people who need help with their drumming skills and. I look forward to making many videos with this and keeping this thing pristine.
like it is now. Oh, the buzz rolls really feel good on this, this pad also. So you get a little bit of difference of sound when you go to the edge. So here's the center. And here's halfway between center and the edge. A little bit of difference. And then when you're at the edge, so you get a lot of difference there. So you get... Okay, so that is my brief review of the Drum Slinger 13 inch Core Marcher drum practice pad. And stay tuned for future drumming things and also maybe some more impressions after I've had it more than a day. I mean, I've only had it a day, so. We'll see, but stay tuned. Have a good day.